Smart is on his way to find abstract artworks and learn about its history and characteristics. Will he able to find one? Our group will further explain the definition and history of abstract artwork, as well as the definition behind the abstract artwork which can be seen at the Pinto Art Museum. Abstract art, also called non-objective art or non-representational art, painting, sculpture, or graph art in which the portrayal of things from the visible world plays no part. Abstract art has its origins in the 19th century. The period characterized by so vast a body of elaborately representational art produced for the sake of illustrating anecdotes also produced a number of painters who examined the mechanism of light and visual perception. All the major movements of the first two decades of the 20th century, including Fauvism, Expressionism, Cubism, and Futurism, in some way emphasized the gap between art and natural appearances. There is, however, a deep distinction between abstracting from appearances, even if to the point of unrecognizability, and making works of art out of forms not drawn from the visible world. During the four or five years preceding World War I, such artists as Robert Del Aunay, Vasily Kandinsky, Kazim Romulevich, and Vladimir Tatlin turned to fundamentally abstract art. Kandinsky is generally regarded as having been the first modern artist to paint purely abstract pictures containing no recognizable objects, in 1910. Beset by totalitarian politics and by art movements placing renewed emphasis on imagery, such as surrealism and socially critical realism, it received little notice. But after World War II an energetic American school of abstract painting called Abstract Expressionism emerged and had wide influence. Abstract art has puzzled and indeed confused many people, but for those who have accepted its non-referential language there is no doubt as to its value and achievements. The first abstract artwork that was explained is the Saling Pusa, Carnival, which is an acrylic in canvas and was made on year 1992 by various artists. The large canvas called Carnival, which is a popular form of entertainment in the country from the late Spanish colonial period until the 1980s, was made by 16 several artists of the group Salim Pusa in 1992. The pictures and games in this artwork depicted the artist's dissatisfaction with the socio-political realities that reflected the euphoria following the end of Marcos' regime by a popular uprising. The pictures and games in this artwork depicted the artist's dissatisfaction with the socio-political realities that reflected the euphoria following the end of Marcos' region by a popular uprising. The composition is divided into different cubicles where the same way with the post-Marcos Philippines was carved up with different powers, with its own rules and domain. Each of these questions are populated with figures representing what the artist as new perceived as the new government forces of the period, namely the church, the lord entertainment business, private armies, and powerful landlords. Some of the images are direct in their description of the actual event. As you can see in the painting, a large man in a business suit oversees a game where toy gun soldiers down with a reminiscence of the massacre of farmers with a demand of the agrarian reform or what they call the Minjola massacre. In the far left bottom of the painting, the dolls in Filipina costumes are held out in a wheelbarrow which refers to the forced exodus of women to work as a domestic helper to the various countries 
at the height of labor exploitation that created the phenomena of overseas Filipino workers. An icon of Philippine pop comics, the heroine Darna, is shown as a red light entertainer on the pole, which is a sad commentary about the state of women in the mid 1880s in, in their economics. All the while religion offers no help, the scene where a priest is here confession a clown makes us wonder what kind of impish trickery is at work. A red paper mache carabao ubiquitously appears in the work to highlight the irony of the decadent celebration of the return of the oligarchy. Sir Andresito Orencho is one of the 16 artists which painted the abstract artwork entitled Carnival. Carnival or an English term is called Carnival, typically involves public celebrations, including events such as parades, public street parties and other entertainments, combining some elements of a circus. Sir Orencho said that their abstract works was inspired by the different occurrences and systems here in our country, the Philippines. They used the theme or the concept of carnival to depict or represent their hidden messages incorporated in each cubicle or section of the gigantic artwork. As Sir Orencho discusses one by one the definitions of the carnival artwork, we now understand that the abstract artwork involves digging deeper in order for you to get the concept or the message of the artist. According to Sir Orencho, there is no concrete definition in an abstract artwork, thus, it depends on the way on how people perceive and interpret it. The main attraction of Freddy Montemayor's work is the sense of having moving images. And this is achieved when his signature spheres are repeated in a multi-point perspective Tetters upon the surrounding space, and is, but is still held by gravitational force. In viewing at his works, one gleans how pigment becomes action-driven in its ability to convey motion on the flat surface of the canvas, drawing attention horizontally or rotationally from a starting point to a continuum space to a theoretical triumphant finish. We don't simply look at his works, we follow them. While one may glean a figure from a composition such as the cyclist moving across the flat expanse or the morphing human body as it swims, cycles and runs, such as the sports in triathlon. It is not so much the figure that is being foregrounded, but the animating energy that makes our perception of that figure possible. So for Montemayor, his work is all about stamina, speed and forward motion. The energy of his work can be traced to his body whose gestures at the pivot of the wrist and the ankle are transformed into calligraphic strokes in which are translated on the canvas as geomat. The energy of his work is more intensified with this incorporation of the black and white palettes as well as his bases relying on the supremacy of the circle. Abstract painting, an art that relies on the emotions of the artist and the elements of design. Art is everywhere, art is abstract. All arts that you can see in your surroundings, you can give its own meaning and interpretation. The main highlight of our video documentary is the abstract painting entitled Saling Pumsa Carnival which is made by 16 artists in the year 1992. The video documentary focuses on abstract paintings at Pinto Art Museum which is located at Antipilo City, Philippines. Abstract art is not the creation. What other? But the true vision of reality.